I'm really sorry I can't be with you at Names Not Numbers this weekend. It's my first weekend as senior rabbi at West London Synagogue and I'm going to be on duty all weekend. The theme of community and values is something that's very dear to my heart. And indeed, if it weren't for that, I wouldn't have taken on the challenge of being a pastoral rabbi again for the first time for 22 years. But if I had been with you, the sort of thing that I would have wanted to say and to explore is what does it mean to be part of any kind of community, a religious community, a political community, uh, an ethnic community, a national community, a local village or area community, and do those communities hold values in common? And if they don't, do they need to explore what things they need to hold in common in order to function well? And my view is that to some extent they do need to explore what it is that matters. Whether it is, say, tolerance, whether it is, say, how we look after each other. We've got all the debate about the big society at the moment, with it being very unclear what it really means. But one of the things it must mean is something about each person and each group's responsibility to others. And how do you do that and how do you acknowledge that? I just want to finish with one comment. I chaired the Commission on the Future of Volunteering some years ago and we put in a sort of strap line and that was that we wanted to get volunteering into the DNA of our society. I still think that's right. My communities are both real and imaginary. At the real level, they are people who are fighting for justice and for authenticity and for fairness and for ethics, and who base their actions on a very deep sense of connecting and reciprocating. Um, but it's often an imaginary community that operates all the way around the world because we recognize people who are extraordinary uh, and ordinary in their engagement with one another. You can see it in the New Zealand disaster. You can see it in every possible coming together of people that it throws up the desire to cooperate. You'd expect me to say that my community is the Christian community, but in fact, for me, my community is the human family. And down the ages, people have asked the question, poets, philosophers, songwriters even, you know, what is truth? In fact, John Lennon wrote a song called Just Give Me Some Truth. And in the end, God answered that question, not by giving us a set of abstract propositions, but by giving us a true person, the truest human being who walked the face of the earth. And so my abiding principle is not in fact a principle, but a person, and my life is based on trying to follow his example. My community is the wider non-Orthodox Jewish community in this country, and I believe that we have some values that we hold dear that apply to other people, but we're there to stand up for them. It's the thing of being a light, and I think it's about social justice, and that applies whether it's asylum seekers or prisoners or anyone who's disadvantaged.